Hey everybody, Dave Smith, resistancebandtraining.com, coming to you with another youth workout today. I want you to go ahead and put your knee down, Kelsey. Kelsey, my daughter, is going to take you through her trunk stabilization routine. Now, Kelsey's had some issues with regards to her spine, so stabilization has been key to her. And she's worked really hard to get back stability that she had to kind of let go for a few years due to a spinal issue. So as a result of it, now we're really teaching and working hard and getting her trunk stability back. So as a result of that, I thought I would take you through her trunk stabilization routine that now she does with the resistance band. All right, it's four exercises. Let me take you through what it looks like. We'll take you through the progressions that she uses. The first one is a prone pillar exercise. She places the band on her low back, all right, and gets herself in position. Now, there's, the first progression is this, knees together but a little bit behind your hips. So she moves her hands, knees behind her hips a little bit. She presses right up at the band and holds. And that's the first progression right there. We typically try to hold for 10 seconds to 15 seconds, and then we rest for five seconds. When she rests, she'll let this relax down a little bit. And then she goes ahead and presses up again, pressing here, and also pressing here a little bit to make sure she's really engaging those trunk muscles. That's progression number one of the front pillar. Progression number two is she takes one leg, locks it out, makes this leg go back a little bit and really light. She presses up into the band and stabilizes. She always wants her hands as close to being underneath her shoulders as she can, pressing up, push up into it. Push, tighten, 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 excellent. The band literally tells her where to push. She rests by putting this knee down, now she's going to go into progression number three. Progression number three is this leg up, she presses up, she locks out and tight. Hold. Very tough progression for Kelsey to work on, but she's worked her way up to being able to do this. Progression number three, take a rest. Now we'll show you the side pillar. She's going to go on to her left forearm, but she's going to make sure that the band is set where she wants it to be. She tries to go ahead and make sure that she puts it around at her pelvis area so that that's where the pressure is. She's going to hook the other end of the band onto her hand. She's going to put her hand down. Her elbow and her forearm are going to be a little bit angled. Instead of straight out this way, she's going to be like that a little bit. She's really going to focus on putting her head there. Progression number one, knees bent as tight as you need to. She always puts her hand here to begin with, brings her hip up, sets herself, and then places it. The key thing is she wants to be pressing right up against the band here so that that engages her lower abdominals. Elbows reaching, hand reaching, she goes back down and rests. Progression number two, she slides her knees back, still has her legs bent. Again, she puts her hand down on the floor, she pushes herself up with this hand to set her hips. Then once she's set, she starts there and then she goes to here with her head looking straight ahead. Really trying to work on tightening up that trunk and stabilizing. The band is telling her where to go and where to contract. She puts her hips down. Progression number three. Legs are straight, toes are back. She once again uses this hand to push up and keeps it there. So push up, hold, she sets herself, she goes to her hip. She makes sure she's solid there before she goes to here and holds and stabilizes. Excellent job, rest. All right, so those are the three side pillar progressions. Now Kelsey's gonna go into the posterior pillar progression. She's gonna bring it around the front of her hips. She's gonna put her hands through the band and then loop it through her thumb. So as you see it, I'm gonna bring it up here. She brought it over her wrist and then loops it through her thumb to shorten up the band a little bit. She's gonna put it right on the crease of her hips so that when she goes up into a posterior pillar, the band hooks on her ASIS or her hip bones, all right? Her knees are bent, heels are digging in, toes are up. Now what she's going to do is she's slowly going to come right up into a pillar position with her eyes going up, and she's going to hold right there, and she's going to stabilize. Once again, she feels the band pressing there. She's got to push up there. She wants her head nice and level, holding it there. She's going to go back down into that hold position. Progression number one. Progression number two would be straight knees. Very difficult to do, but Kelsey's going to give it a try. She's going to see if she can go from there into that. Elbows back. She's going to go into a straight leg position and hold. Excellent job. Keeping the hips up. Very good. Back down. 
The last progression, which is very difficult to do, is she's going to go into that position, and then lastly, she's going to bring her knee to her chest of her right knee. So she's going to go into a straight position first, head back, and she's going to try to bring it up without dropping her hip. Bring her up, bring it up. Excellent job. She puts this back down and rests. Again, making sure the tendency will be because they're getting so much, trying to get so much extension through their low back, they try to extend through their head. The more they can keep their head level, if we go to the first progression here, Kelsey pops up again, we want the head to be level, not extending back. However, as they try to get more extension through their lumbar spine, they'll head their head back. She wants her head there just looking straight up at the ceiling, pressing the hips through, pressing the hips through, and holding strong as she's doing that. Excellent job. Pillar progressions, using bands. My suggestion is you start out, no bands, go ahead and teach your kids how to do those positions, all three progressions. Once they learn them, then go ahead and use hand pressure to teach them where to press. Once they get that, now they can go ahead and cut them loose using the band and see how they do. Hope you enjoyed this pillar progression. We know kids lack trunk stability very often as they develop. Therefore, you know what? We've got to get them going, and this will help a great deal.